Hi, my name is Amira. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here reviewing the Benefit Their Real Double the Lip Lipstick Lip Liner and Lipstick 2-in-1 products. So just before Christmas, these came out in a little mini tin with four little minis and now they have expanded the range and introduced four new shades and they are all now available individually in a nice full size lipstick. So there's eight shades and they retail for $36 here in Australia, which is pretty standard for a high-end lipstick. So when you open them up, they have this little teardrop shape and the little point at the top is darker and then the kind of bulb of the bottom of the teardrop is lighter. So they're meant to be a two-in-one lipstick and lip liner. So it's going to save you time from having to apply you know, lip liner and then lipstick to get that kind of full lip look where it's like darker to lighter. Now, obviously I've been using them for ages because I got the set of the four minis. I did swatches of them, but I hadn't tried them to be able to talk about the formula or anything like that. So that's why today is more of a review, but I'm still going to insert swatches of all eight shades since there are the new shades as well. So thank you so much Benefit for hooking me up with the new shades. As you can see what is missing here because it's in my handbag, but I already filmed the swatches the other day, so it's okay. So personally with the lip liner and lipstick two in one, I, some of the shades it works well when you kind of hold them because you obviously want to hold the darker shade around the edges so that it's darker on the edge and lighter on the middle. But personally for most shades and just my personal preference of applying them, I kind of just like to chuck them all over and blend the two colors into one. It's so much easier. I guess it completely defeats the purpose, but I have seen other people and they were fine to apply it with the two in one. The actual formula is so beautiful. It's just kind of like the standard MAC lipsticks, you know, just like a really nice standard lipstick with a satin finish that lasts really well, that isn't too drying. I mean, it says like eight hours wear. I think I saw somewhere, yeah, eight hours of beyond belief color look if you're gonna eat the lighter shades are gonna come off the darker shades do have pretty good staying power though so if we go through all the shades I'm gonna give you a little rundown on what I think of all of them so the first one is criminally coral and this one is probably the one where I applied it when I apply it with that ombre look, I find that the center is too light for the lipstick on the outside and they didn't really blend together that well. So that's why this one, I just prefer to apply all over and blend the two colors in together and then it is a beautiful color. When I first applied it, I was like, eh, not in love, but when I mix the two colors, it is beautiful. It is such a gorgeous summer shade. For people who like corals, it is a must-have. Then we have Nude Scandal. This is just a very nude lip color. Very standard nude lip. Beautiful shade. It's going to work for a lot of different skin tones. I do like this one. It's a, it's just a nice everyday nude. Then we have Lusty Rose. You guys know how much I love Lusty Rose. It was my favorite in the four minis that came out. I've worn it in quite a few Instagram pictures, quite a few videos on YouTube. And you guys have asked me like what lipstick you're wearing. Lusty Rose, it is stunning. So, so beautiful. Probably, yeah, probably my favorite one, I would have to say. Then we have Juicy Berry. Juicy Berry is a stunning, beautiful, um, medium to, yeah, medium plus kind of berry tone. It's not too dark. It's really good for every day for people who like a little bit more oomph in their lip color. Then we have Pink Thrills. This and Lusty Rose were both in the set that came out before Christmas. So Pink Thrills is just a really nice pink that's easy to wear. It's not too bright, not too overpowering. Still, yeah, quite wearable. Then we have Fuchsia Fever and this is like Barbie pink. Uh, this is definitely one of the new shades. It is really, really nice. I quite like it. Um, for more summer though because it's so like bright. Then we have Flame Game. Flame Game is the orange from Before Christmas as well. This is a beautiful orange. Personally, I would wear this one though with a lip pencil to so that it's brighter. My natural lip color is quite pigmented so I would kind of want to, um, not that it's not pigmented, like it is still really orange but just I like oranges, but when I wear them, I have to wear oranges with a lip liner. I just feel like they need to be really, really, really crisp. Then we have a revved up red. This isn't like a bright red. I'm really scared of wearing reds, but it is a beautiful shade. I really, really like it. So yeah, revved up red, really nice muted red. I think muted red. It's not too overbearing, but again, if you did wear it with like a proper red, red lip pencil, I know it defeats the purpose of like, this is meant to be, you know, lipstick and lip line up two in one but yeah I 
you could get it to be like more of that true kind of pinup red. Yeah, that is my little review on these. I filmed this the other day and the video was so long and rambly and it just went all over the place. I was like, what are you doing? So I just had to refilm it because I really like the lipsticks and I wanted the video to be really good for you guys. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think below, what your favorite shades are. I definitely think mine is still Lusty Rose. It is just so beautiful and then yeah criminally coral i think i will wear a lot more when we come into summer because we're just going into winter now in australia so it's like the worst time um but yeah i'll probably wear that more for like uh tutorials or yeah coming into summer and nude scandal surprise surprise the three like most nudie shades are my favorites. I think they're definitely worth checking out if you like Benefit, if you see a shade that you like, the formula is really nice. They're not drying like liquid lipsticks. So yeah, that's why I really like them because while I like liquid lipsticks, I don't love liquid lipsticks. They make my lips dry. I love traditional like bullet lipsticks. They just, they work so much better with my lips. So yeah, that's what I think of this collection. Again, let me know your favorite shade below. Don't forget to thumbs the video up, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you all next time. Bye guys.